This video is to show you the Beyond Labs LTI and how it integrates and looks from a professor's perspective and a student's perspective in your learning management system. I am doing this demonstration with the general chemistry from Beyond Labs in the Canvas learning management system. However, this looks very similar no matter what you're using from Beyond Labs and no matter your learning management system. The organization is the same in your learning management system as it is in Beyond Labs with the worksheets organized into their respective categories. And those categories are organized in your learning management system into modules or folders. If we were to click here on one of our experiments, so let's just do this first one, you're gonna notice that it shows us the experiment title, the points possible, and a start assessment button. And this actually, what you see from an instructor's perspective is exactly what your students see. Uh, this is an instructor's test account, essentially, is what our LTI defaults to. Uh, to access grading, uh, adjust, adjustment of settings, and things like that, that says LTI home button. And I show you how to use that for those features in different videos, so feel free to check those videos out. But let's see what you see as the professor and what your student sees. So when you click this Start Assessment button, uh, you'll notice it lists the title, the points, how many questions you've answered so far. There is a print option. Uh, if the equation editors are needed uh, in the question, you can disable them. There's additional options. Um, really, there's not much you need to adjust here or your students should need to adjust. You can just step right in and start answering the questions. Uh, and these are exact copies of our worksheets. And in fact, that's what this LTI is, is it's a digital way to submit our worksheets and for you as the instructor to be able to grade very easily those worksheets that students submit. So each question has a point value listed and the number of tries remaining. We have defaulted to two tries uh, to allow for students to correct mistakes that they may make, that they realize they make. Students do not get feedback on whether or not they have an answer correct or not. They just see that they have submitted the question. They can still retry. That two has now changed to a one. So I could change this to say, yes, I've read all the materials. And I see that the question is submitted. I can no longer adjust my answer, but I can see what my answer was. And the same goes for additional questions. So for example, for question two, uh, we know that the source in this lab is an electron gun. So let's pretend that the student accidentally types a B instead of an N, so they're right next to each other. They can realize that and type an N and still get those points. And you can also see, uh, if you check out the grading video, I show you that you can see students' first and second attempts, so you can see what they've been answering. But again, question has been submitted. I can no longer edit this question, but I can see what my answer was. And that's how the Beyond Labs worksheets work. Uh, we have the short answer questions. We have longer answer questions. We have numeric questions, equations, uh, graphs, file submissions, whatever might be needed for the worksheet that's in this uh, digital system. If you were to go back, to the uh, worksheet screen, you would see now that it says continue assessment because I've started it. So it does save your progress as long as you hit submit question. And then for instructors, you will see a reset assessment button. This resets only your instructor student account, uh, which is what it defaults to. So if I click on this, it resets the worksheet like new and it has no effect on my students. It will not reset your students' worksheets. I We'll show you how to do that in a different video. So just to show you uh, how it looks from the student view, you'll see it looks identical because like we said, the instructor view is the student view uh, when you click on these worksheets. So you see the title, the points, start assessment, and there you go. I can go through and answer a question or two. I see I've answered one out of 12. As a student, I can go back and you'll see that this is now a continue button instead of a start button. And if I go to the assignments page, the student will see that this is not yet graded. So telling them they've at least started this assessment and they won't get a grade. This is a learning management setting uh, that they don't see their grade so they can't deduce whether or not they're getting questions right. 
So that is the Beyond Labs LTI and how it looks within your LMS. Uh, if you have questions, please reach out to us. Our support uh, team is fantastic. You can also reach out on our community website and uh, also check out the other videos that show you more details about how this LTI works within your learning management system.